What's up everyone, I'm Daily Perales. This is the Daily Effect Boxing and today I wanna to talk about KSI versus Wasabi. It got announced August 27th, going down at the O2 Arena. The reason why I wanna talk about this is because aside from my professional boxing training, I'm involved. Obviously I train King Kenny and I train KSI's brother Deji. So I would like to give my opinion Everyone's entitled to an opinion. Not everyone's going to agree with me. But what do I know? I've only been in boxing all my life. I, I was a boxer, amateur boxer, professional boxer. Two of my brothers were amateur boxers, professional boxers. We're known in the circuit. So who am I to give advice or give my opinion? Hey, hey, come on now. I train undefeated professional boxers, building them from the beginning of, of their pro careers and working their way up. Currently seven and oh, one. One's gonna go, about to go five and oh. Another, I've got another one that's just turned pro. So that's what I'm about. I'm about building future world champions and that's what we're doing. So straight into KSI versus Wasabi. Wasabi beat Deji, I know. Yes, he did beat Deji. But that's because Deji didn't throw any punches. And he knows that. And I told him that. He lost by a split decision. And I told him, all you had to do is throw punches and you would have won that fight. Now, I like Wasabi, but I'm just talking facts. Deji would have won the fight if he had just thrown his hands. Um, and that's the thing that really annoys me because I was ringside. I was like, if only he just throws punches. In between rounds, I was saying, Deji, throw punches. Throw your hands. But we all know what the issue was. We know what it was. He knows what it was. If they were to have a rematch again, um, I think Deji would put it right. But this ain't about Deji now. It's about KSI versus Wasabi. And I want to give my opinion. KSI. Now, what you YouTube fans need to understand when I talk, I'm coming from someone that's got a hell of a lot of experience in the boxing game. Okay? So I'm not just giving no biased opinions. I'm not giving you no stupid ass opinions and I'm not giving you opinions um, with no knowledge behind it. I actually know what the fuck I'm talking about. So, listen up. KSI, one thing I respect about KSI is he brings the heat. He brings the dog, okay? He brings the dog in him. And actually, I'll go as far as saying, I was speaking to Deji today and I was saying, Deji, listen, you've got a lot of skill. Your skill set is, uh, could be better than your brother's. I think it's better than your brother's, your skill set. But the only difference is, is KSI has got that dog. You know, he's got that boxing mentality. He's got that boxing mentality where when it's time to go to war, he will go to war. So that's what I respect about KSI. We've seen it in the Logan Paul fights, you know? Not everything went his way in those fights. But when it was time to dig down deep and bite on that mouthpiece, boy, did he do it. And that's what I like. That's one thing you can't teach in boxing. You can't teach this. You can't teach this. That's something you have to find within yourself. You have to be willing to sacrifice. You, be, you have to be willing to go through anything to get the victory. So, and that's what you saw when he fought Logan Paul, um, especially in the last fight. You saw him overcome a lot of things in that fight. You know, was it questionable that he got dropped? Okay, he punched him again when he was on the floor, uh, when he was on the floor, but Logan Paul did land a clean shot and hurt KSI in that fight. But that's what I'm saying. If you've got that dog in you, if you've got that fire in, with, fire in you, if you can stand there and fight fire with fire, if you can bully the bully at moments, whether it's for 5, 10, 20 seconds in parts of, ra of any round, then that's going to give you a chance for victory. And that's what I like about KSI. That he brings out, ho, 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 that dog. And that's what I like. Wasabi. I actually like the dude. It's hard not to like Wasabi because he's very friendly, man. <laughs> he hasn't got a bad thing to say when you talk to him. He's very friendly. Um, so I haven't got a bad thing to say about um, Wasabi. He actually surprised me when he box Deji, I thought it would get to him, you know, the, the the event, the atmosphere, having his first fight in front of a massive crowd, 
um, with a show that the magnitude of that. Um, and he surprised me. He come out, he boxed, um, kept it simple, f behind a jab, um, tied Deji up when Deji got close. So no arguments there. No arguments there. He surprised me. But do I think he has enough to take on KSI? The answer is no. And that's not because I don't think he can ever be a good boxer because he does have the fundamentals there to keep improving as we saw against Deji. But you're coming in against someone that brings that dog, someone that has that physical strength. And I don't know if he's going to be able to handle that. I think he, he'll he be... I will be amazed if he got to the third round of this fight. So... He's going to have to have a phenomenal jab. Has he had enough time to work on perfecting that jab? How to set up? You know, he shots behind that jab. Behind that jab. Because a jab, it can't just be a jab. It can't just be a jab that you throw out there. You you have to be intelligent with that jab. It has to be snappy. It has to be the kind of jab where when you get hit with it, put, you think twice about coming forward into that second phase. And that's what he has to do with KSI. He had, Obviously, he's going to have to box KSI. But it's whether he could keep KSI off. And I'm not sure he can. Because KSI is physically strong. And as I said, he's got that dog in him. Now... What KSI has to be wary of is overlooking Wasabi. Now, in my world, professional boxing, I don't care if you're fighting a journeyman. I don't care if you're fighting someone that's lost five fights. You train in the same way and you treat them the same way. You go in there with the mindset that this opponent is a world champion. He's got the belts and I need to take them. I need to take them belts from him. Because if you don't train with that mentality, if you don't have that mentality, mentality, then that's when you see shock results. Now, I'm not saying Wasabi will win, but if KSI is thinking further on down the line, thinking about Jake Paul, thinking about other fights, you know, and looking at Wasabi like he's nothing and like he's weak, then it could play into Wasabi's hands. I'm only giving that like 5-10% chance, but it could play into Wasabi's hands. We've seen it a lot of times in boxing where they overlook their opponent and they go in there, they don't stick to a game plan, everything goes out the window and then they end up losing the fight. So that's what KSI needs to be wary of. Keep that mindset of, you know, who's standing in front of you is like the level of a Jake Paul because that's how he's going to be able to perform to a high level. That's how he's going to be able to perform where... The paid customers that are paying the pay-per-view uh, are there at the O2 Arena. They could turn around and go, yeah, KSI is back and, and he's ready for Jake Paul. So he has to be on it, has to be on it and he has to be focused because someone that just comes forward throwing a lot of punches and yes, KSI has got that dog, but also like when I used to fight, I used to love fighters that come forward like that because I'll just pop a jab, I'll pop a right hand, I'll, I'll use my smart footwork, um, small steps, small steps, creeping back, making fall into shots, pap, come on, come on, come again, pap, pap, come again, pap, 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 come again, move, move, pap, pap, come again. So if Wasabi adapts that style and, and, and KSI starts losing his head, you could see a different fight. But at the end of the day, I said what I said, you know, if Deji threw his hands, he would have beat Wasabi. It'd be interesting, maybe a rematch later on down the line. Now he's had more time with me and now we've been drilling. Remember, I only had three, three weeks of training with Deji to try and change his mindset, try and uh, give him a game plan. Um, now we've got more time together. Now we've had more time together. We've been training every day. You know, we've been sparring a lot. We've been going through game plan different game plans and stuff like that, perfecting his skills. Um, so I'd love to see that rematch down the line. But my prediction, everyone, <laughs> you probably know what, what I'm going to say because I've been saying it, is KSI for the win as long as he keeps his head. Keep his head and this is going to be an easy fight.